freewheeling theory hub assembly. Um, right, so I was looking online and there's not many videos uh, out there showing the sort of components of um, these freewheeling theory hub assemblies. So um, I am no mechanic. I've got no mechanical uh, qualifications. All I'm doing is restoring my uh, Landy. And uh, I thought that this would be useful for other people potentially uh, to see how these things go together. So if I say anything wrong or explain things wrong, I do apologize, okay? So <clears throat> here's your hub, okay, which is obviously the freewheeling hub would be attached to. So gasket, first of all, would be placed between the two metals. So there you go. So this is your freewheeling hub, like so. Um, and you can see inside, obviously there's bearings in there and it's spinning quite nice and freely to my uh, knowledge. So I've just cleaned it up basically, and you can see that spinning quite nicely. Ooh, if I hold it like that. The one thing I would say here is um, there you can see, um, if you count these spines, you've got 24 spines. You can get them with 12 spines as well. But this one, obviously the half shaft that this fits onto okay the half shaft end would have 24 spines as well okay so this is why you see lots of those spines there um another thing that i just want to mention at this point is you can see these larger grooves here in the outer spines now the outer those larger grooves there um are for these little um metal rods here i don't know what they're actually called but these metal rods you can see there's three of them so when you put this on, I'll explain this a little bit better in a bit, but when you put that on, you can see that that fits nicely into this. So the actual metal rods look fit into the three wider sections. And then what happens? You can see there's a nice spring in there and it's nice to free, nice and free to move. Okay, so what you've then got, so if I just place that onto there, like so, just roughly for now, you've got your hub cap here, you've got your mm, nylon thread, oh, flex has gone off, um, you've got this then, which is basically a little washer, I believe, that fits into there. And what happens against that lock, this would be uh, another locking nut, and this locks this assembly onto the half shaft, and then you would have a pin, uh, I'll just use a, a rivet for now. You'd have a pin, there's not one uh, here, and the pin would go through that, and it's normally bent, okay? So in the actual end of the half shaft, there's a little hole, and you'd have a pin there going through here just to lock this nut in place, to lock everything together. Okay, a little tip for when I've been doing it to get the actual pins out. Um, what I do is I actually put the rivet end next to the pin through the hole, just get a hammer and just gently tap it out, and it does seem to, to come out quite nicely. So that's what that's for. Um, you've got your larger spring here that fits inside the actual cap um, but this part is made up of a plastic head you've then got a little spring inside so it's all in place at the moment so I don't really want to take it out but what you can see can you see inside here you've got your spring and then you've got this obviously uh, this gear or something along those lines here okay all the spines are in pretty good condition here doesn't none of them look too worn if you can see that uh, none of them look too worn so it all fits together quite nicely there doesn't seem to be any sort of breaks in the plastic the plastic's not too brittle um so with this cap the first thing is you need to remove it normally and it's sometimes it's a bit of a bugger to remove um and the reason for that this is really difficult to take out so this is our nylon 
uh, sort of fastener or thread. And what happens is if, th if threads through uh, here at the small angle, if you push it through and what happens as it goes through, it's got like a, a place for it to sit inside. It's a groove cut inside and that side there, that cut there, um, what that does, if you can see here, the actual uh, hub has a groove. So if I was to get just a spare, um, grab that one. So here's a spare nylon one from the other hub. What you can see is that fits in there like that. And that's what locks the cap on. And that's what I think that happens. It locks the cap on so the cap cannot be pulled out. So lots of people try and take the, the screw out first of all, and then try and pull this off, but it won't get pulled off until you actually remove the, the nylon and you just gotta sort of pull it like that, pull it out, okay? So it is quite tricky to, to do. Um, and they're quite tricky to see as well, because obviously when these are dirty, that's usually really flush. You, you don't actually know that there's a nylon. It took me a while to find there's a nylon piece in there. So I just use a little screwdriver, hook it underneath, and then just use the screwdriver to pull it out like that, okay? Once this is off then, so it's a bit tricky at the end. Once this is off, the actual hub cap, and normally the springs and this bit all come off together. When the nylon thread is in there, it's held in place by this little screw. So the screw just goes on there to stop it unwinding and coming off. The last thing that I want to show you is there's the larger spring. Now this, if I put this in first and I would put this in with the plastic side down. Okay, so plastic side down like that and just gently move it and you can see it actually spins into place. So again, if I just put it in like that, uh, you can see that this spins into place quite nicely and, and settles at the bottom. With that then, you put this spring over the top and then all you're doing with a little bit of sort of manipulation, remember the three sort of metal poles, you put those three metal poles onto this. Now I'm not gonna do it perfectly. Oh, there we go. So it actually has fit quite nicely first time. I was lucky. Once that's in place, you would then put your nylon thread through the gap. I'm not gonna do this because uh, I'm playing around with these at the moment. So you put that in place, which locks then this theory cap um, on. Put your screw in like so. And then what you've got, once you've put your six bolts through here, which obviously you would do before the caps on so you can get the, uh, the spanner in there. You've got then your freewheeling assembly on and attached. And again, that is uh, my knowledge of it. Again, I'm not uh, mechanically trained, but I thought this would be useful just to see all the components out, okay? So I hope this helped. I will do some more uh, different videos um, and I'll post them up as soon as I've done them, okay?